The doll in this video is not a toy and is detailed in a way that makes it inappropriate for children. Hello everyone, this is Rachel or Calabial Tan and welcome to another box opening. This is quite a large box because it has a 61 centimeter ball jointed doll inside. This is a doll I purchased on eBay. It's a Miro doll body. Um, I have one Miro doll body already. It's a one quarter scale one. This one is one third scale. And it popped up for a really good price. He is quite heavy, very heavy. I'm not sure how much it's getting across in the video, but this is big. This is really big. And the posability is so far better than I was expecting for a Miro doll body. You have double jointing, although it does seem to want to. It has a little bit of a hard time engaging the lower half. You have a rotational joint here. And over here, same thing. But he can sit cross-legged, which is wild. And we have double jointing in the arms as well. Um, he seems like the kind of doll that could benefit from a little bit of suading, just to help him hold the poses. But I'm, I'm impressed. This is not bad at all. This is the new boy body, by the way. I can't even have his whole body in the frame. The sculpting is not unattractive. We got some ribs here. We got a little belly button. His neck, I think, is particularly cool looking. I did not realize how, just how big a one-third scale doll is. Um, I had did have a slim, I think it was a Bobobi body that was technically one-third, but it was a female body and it was very slim, so it was a lot smaller than this. Wow. Interesting. I just, I just got, I, it was an auction, it was a pretty inexpensive price, and I think I was the only bidder. I just got him just out of curiosity. Um, I have a head sitting around that I'd heard was usually too big for one quarter scale, but it's it's going to be way too small for him. But I do have a Doll Chateau Snowborn head that I was expecting would take almost a year to be made. But I got a notification from Alice's Collections about two weeks ago that it's already been shipped. So I might keep this body around as a temporary solution for my snowborn. It's almost a bit of a workout just moving his limbs. I am just, I did not realize this is what an SD is like. And I'm wondering how y'all do it, honestly. Especially people who have a bunch of these guys. My plan is to have one, maybe two, like permanently. And there are people who have, a, like, this is the only size they collect. I don't understand. <laughs> but this is very cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Um, 
as I'm doing my outro, I will try to keep posing him for you guys so you can see, because I want this unboxing to count as a mini review. Oh, the resin does not feel like it's a low quality. The only complaint I'm, have, I'm thinking of right off is that the lower side of the knee is really having a hard time engaging, which is a design flaw, I would say. But this could probably be alleviated by um, suede. I really like the feet. I think they're very nice. They're quite well sculpted, I think. And I like I like that he has a tiny bit of the suggestion of muscles, but he doesn't like look grotesque or unnatural. I feel like some ball jointed dolls that are intended to represent a mature dude just are a little too muscly and they don't look natural. Oh, have I shown you guys his back? The back is kind of basic. It's not, not a lot of detail here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more of my content specifically, I like to do videos about ball jointed dolls and miniatures and artist dolls, one of a kind dolls, stuff like that. Feel free to subscribe. I have a Facebook group linked below in the description box where I post whenever I release a video. So if you want to make sure you never miss an upload, you can join that group there and see whenever I upload a video. I also have a Patreon where you guys can support me for as little as $2 a month in exchange for getting to see all of my content one to two weeks early. And as soon as I reach my first support goal, I'm going to be giving away one doll every single month to one of my patrons. And only patrons will have access to that giveaway every month, so be sure to check that out and see if that's something you might be interested in. Those who support me on the Fairy Godparent tier on Patreon, in addition to everything I already mentioned, also get a sticker sent to them every single month of one of my dolls, and a shout out in every single YouTube video I make. So shout out to Road to Eric Fan and my anonymous Fairy Godparents. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.